Hello, and welcome to Noonday Prayer. My name is Johnny Keane. I'm going to read from a book entitled You Are the Beloved, Daily Meditations for Spiritual Living by Henry Nouwen. This daily meditation is entitled The Pressure of Competition. One of the saddest aspects of the lives of many students is that they always feel pressured The word school, which comes from scola, meaning free time, reminds us that schools were originally meant to interrupt a busy existence and create some space to contemplate the mysteries of life. Today, they have become the arena for a hectic race to accomplish as much as possible and to acquire in a short period the necessary things to survive the great battle of human life. Books written to be savored slowly are now read hastily to fulfill a requirement. Paintings made to be seen with a contemplative eye are taken in as part of a necessary art appreciation course. And music composed to be enjoyed at leisure is listened to in order to identify a period or style. Thus, colleges and universities meant to be places for quiet learning have become places of fierce competition in which the rewards go to those who produce the most and the best. This particular meditation strikes a chord with me since I work in the field of education, but I believe it can be applied to all aspects of our lives. Our lives that have been in many ways put on hold currently. But it makes me consider, at least personally, once we go back to our lives, And when we go back to our lives, or when I go back to my life, do I want to be part of a fierce competition again? Do I want to be part of that hectic race to accomplish as much as possible? Is this the contemplative Christian life aligned with Christ's teachings? I ponder and think about this a lot. And I think it's something to consider. I'm going to end with a prayer from the same book by Henry Nouwen, his words, but also my belief. A prayer, dear God, as you draw me near, as you actually, as you draw me ever deeper into your heart, I discover that my companions on the journey are women and men loved by you as fully and as intimately as I am. In your compassionate heart, there is a place for all of them. No one is excluded Give me a share in your compassion, dear God, so that your unlimited love may become visible in the way I love my brothers and sisters. We all, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. This is my belief, not these words. And I hope we cherish and savor this thought and live by this thought and live by this creed that we all that we are all brothers and sisters, and that no one is excluded. Because as Solomon Burke once sang in a song, if one of us is chained, none of us are free. If one of us is chained, none of us are free. I believe this is something to live by, not just currently, but for all time. In God's name, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Amen.